Welcome to Metric Measurement, Episode 3, about weight. When you measure weight, you're measuring how heavy or how light something is. Weight is used for many important things, like food. When you want to buy something like bananas from the grocery store, you buy them by the pound. Here, for every pound of bananas you buy, you pay 59 cents. In this podcast, you will learn how to identify and describe the size of a gram and a kilogram. This can help you to estimate weight quickly and correctly. Here in the United States, we measure weight with customary units like ounces, pounds, or tons. However, most other places in the world use metric units of weight, like the gram and kilogram. The basic unit for measuring weight in the metric system is the gram. This tiny weight is exactly one gram. A large paper clip like this weighs about one gram. If you go on a scavenger hunt around your classroom, this is what you might find that weighs about one gram. A ones cube, three push pins, and a leg of a computer keyboard. Let's play an estimation game. About how many grams do you think this chess piece weighs? Remember how it would feel to hold something like a large paper clip. Use that memory to help you estimate. If you guessed eight or nine grams, you're right. Remember, grams are a very small measurement of weight. They are good for getting exact measurements. However, when you try to weigh something heavy, like an adult, it can be complicated to use something small, like grams. So you can use kilograms instead. A kilogram is 1,000 times as heavy as a gram. That means that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. This large weight is exactly one kilogram. It would take 1,000 of these small weights to equal the weight of this kilogram. When it's full of grape jelly, this jar weighs close to one kilogram. If you go on a kilogram scavenger hunt, this is what you might find that weighs about one kilogram. A large tape dispenser, a box of artist chalk, and a small textbook. Let's play another round of our estimation game. About how many kilograms do you think this dictionary and thesaurus weigh together? If you don't know, think about how a big jar of grape jelly would fill and compare it to these two books. If you guess three kilograms, you're right. Using things that you're familiar with, like small paper clips, and large jars of grape jelly can help you estimate weight. Remember that kilograms are large when compared to grams. Practice estimating weight by picking up things around your house or classroom. Make an estimate before you check. Then check to see if you were close. You will be surprised at how much better you can estimate after you have practiced. Thanks for participating in these three metric measurement podcasts. Now you can estimate length, capacity, and weight.